Freshly awoke. I like to buy rattles. <laughs> man, the old man uh, gets woken up from his nap and he's all cranky. Oh my god. Is that what you're doing? Okay, I thought you were just Bob. being your usual annoying self. <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't that contest be coming up again that I won last year about the most annoying? Uh... Oh, I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, maybe they're doing it again. I don't know. I don't know. The uh, I was. I thought you were giving us a demonstration of what your wife has to go through when she has sex. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I follow you there, but I guess okay. Annoying. I don't know. I'm just saying. I know. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I can't go into that. That's that's, uh, that's a taboo subject. But yeah, yeah, I wish I could go into detail on that. Actually. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, you wish you could go into detail. Uh, oh. there's, a of, uh, there's a lot of rules and stuff. Oh, you know, I see. Okay. There's no talking. There's no <laughs> eye contact. I mean, there's nothing. Yeah. There's, uh... Okay. Well, hey, yeah. you know, I thought it was taboo. Off the, you know. I can't even say more than that. I mean, that's like at me. way Don't too look much. At me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's like way too much already. Uh, no talking. <laughs> Hurry up! Quit talking to me. Uh, speed faster is better. Yes, things like that. Yes, yes. All right. Well, there you go. But I can't say any more than that. All is good. All is well. Make animal noises, you know, stuff yeah. like. But I can't say any more than that. So mm -hmm. that's all I can say. So. Well, I figure you would have to open up because you know you love celebrity deaths. Yeah. And you know the rumors of that Ghostbusters three. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Wow. Not gonna. Harold Ramis died today. I read your post today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Poor Harold Ramis, the one who you wouldn't think would die, died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was betting money on Bill Murray. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The guy goes. He goes all over the place doing crazy shit. And I, mean, I don't want Bill Murray to die, him. but yeah, but man. Well, I figured it would be between him and Ackroyd first. Ackroyd of a heart attack, and uh, yeah, or Bill Murray because of his nuttiness. And uh, yeah. here it was, Harold Ramis, the uh, stable one. You know. Yeah, I know. Wow, I wouldn't even. I mean, I saw him and knocked up, and I thought, man, you know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the late great. Yeah, yeah great. man, the guy made like so, all my favorite movies in the world, man. Like, wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, man, he's the man. only uh, non-porn director to make the list. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> him and Lenny Reifenstahl. Yeah. Lenny, yeah. try him for the Williamses. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah no, man. it's just sad. It's just so sad. I was just watched. Uh, one of those, like, you know, behind-the-scenes shows about Caddyshack, and he was, you know, on there talking not too long. Yeah. I mean, who knows when the interviews were, but uh, I just watched it, so. Yeah, well, talked about all really the, funny guy, just super funny guy. Yeah. All, all the craziness that happened on that movie set. Yeah, yeah, so, wow. I guess he had a pretty good life, you know, if you think about yeah. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very successful guy. Yeah. Yeah. Almost yeah. made it to 70. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's probably better than you're going to do, so. Well, it's, oh, you're fucking, <laughs> you're a dick. You're fucking, <laughs> but I just, you really are a dick. Probably man. better than I'm going to do, I'm just saying. Well, better than you, mean, yeah, I'm better than you, I don't know you. Thanks a lot, Bob, Jesus. Yeah. Wow. That's your vote of confidence there. I'm just saying that, you know, you've, uh. Yeah. You you're not a healthy person sometimes here, so. Oh, okay, all right. Let's see. No, I mean, in in long time ago, not healthy. <laughs> you've you've lived a good uh, 
good time being not healthy sometimes. I have uh, dealt with some things in my yes. life. Yes, that's right. I have, uh, I'm lucky to be here, actually. So I know. Uh, that's what I mean. It's just every day is a gift. You know? It is. That's what I mean. You know, you could have died in a car accident in high school, for Christ's sake. Well, that's right. But uh, actually, yeah, it was the anniversary of it. it was just uh, a few days ago. Yeah. Was it really? Yes, it was uh, February twentieth, I believe, something. Like really? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what were you doing riding in a jeep in February? I was awful cold. Uh, you know, it was just probably the whole the whole thing was probably ill advised looking back. <laughs> on it, so. it was probably not the uh, best uh, thought out plan, actually. Probably not. Too bad I was one in, in my old, my dad's uh, pickup truck that I was driving in because that that would have been. Yeah. That probably would have saved me a lot of, you know... Pain. Pain and injury and... Yeah. The severely uh, swollen black uh, wiener I had there for a week or so. That's right, yeah. That my mom got to see, by the way. Yeah. She took photos. There's Polaroids uh, somewhere. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. That was before the whole electronic (laughs) age, so that wasn't on Facebook, thank God. That's right. Uh, (laughs) Grandma Nudie, look. Look, look at oh. look at Miles' big black penis he's got right there. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So yeah, uh, so, yeah. All, all weird kind of stuff going on. So Harold Ramis. And, yeah, that's just sad. <coughs> I know. It's so sad. It's like the day John Candy died, man. Like, man I know. Man, there you go, I John Candy. Uh, yeah. Belushi died, man. No, and well, Belushi kind of like okay, yeah. Well, I wasn't okay with that. Well, no, but I'm just saying, you know, it was like, he didn't have a big, long life, you know what I mean? And he yeah, was, yeah. He was prone to a few things and uh, so well, forth. Well, yeah, so, but that was, you know, it was, you know. You know, it will be way more of a shocker than when Jim Belushi dies, but that's a whole other story. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. <clears throat> but you met him, so... That, well, that's true. Yes, I did. I did yeah. meet Jim Belushi. You uh, hung out with Jim uh, Belushi, so. Long time ago. Yeah. When my uncle had a lot of ins for me there. And, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and now he's retired now, so I have no ins. No anymore. more ends. So. That was nice, though, having some ends. Yeah. So everybody's okay? Doing well? No, I, no. Not really, no. I, uh, oh, yeah? What's going on? I keep getting booby trapped at this old folks' home. And, uh, <laughs> are you meaning that the uh, old ladies are showing their boobies, or? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> they're trapping you uh, with them, or what? Uh, I uh, well, I, uh, well, that brings up so many multifaceted <laughs> stories. God, I don't know. <laughs> you're you're walking down the hallway, and you get a whisper out of a room, and the next thing you know, you're uh, got a face full of. I uh, I, did, movie. I did see a uh, resident there. Uh, looks like she was trying to hide a couple grapes, I suppose. Uh, oh, uh, oh, nipples. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. How old was yeah. this woman? <laughs> uh, great, great. Oh my yeah. God! You're looking yeah, at like, her nipples. Oh my God! You couldn't. God. You really could not miss it. Even the kids oh noticed that. I go, you kids, shut your mouths. I don't want to hear a word till we get outside. Yeah, they're, you're like, don't look, Marion. Don't look. <laughs> no, I, you know, like we're trying to bring in some food and. My wife makes it past like this icy part, and That's I don't. Beautiful. Like I just fall, I slip, and my wife's like in, forgets about me, completely yeah. takes off. Well, that's what that's that's you know she's just preparing for the future. I try to catch myself, you know, my my hand goes down like this brick wall, like, <laughs> you know. <sighs> well, you you are kind of built like a potato on a couple of toothpicks. <laughs> I know. And, uh, so I can imagine that that any ice would not be your friend because you're so top heavy. You're basically like uh, Dolly Parton in that regard, only you know at the waistline. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. So then, like uh, before that, a week before that, my wife's like, um, "Yeah, I have a way to come through like the service entrance now. I have like a key or something I found." I'm oh like, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm bringing in some stuff, and it's like... It's why do they have, wait a minute, why do they have ice at the front door of the old folks' home? 
It was, well, it was a side door. There's like multi doors oh. to this place, okay. and uh, she thought it'd be fun to come through the kitchen entrance, which is like mm. when it melts, like it all gathers like at the bottom of the stairs. You know, oh, ice. great! Uh, don't they have people of maintenance people or anything? Oh, they do, and it is well kept up, except for this one freaking spot. Mm. And they're like, the nobody's supposed to come in there. Yeah, it's like yeah. all you know, Home Alone, you know, like booby <laughs> traps. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's like, well, let's, we're going to go through the service entrance just because it's nighttime. We don't want to wake up everyone. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And she doesn't tell me. So we're in the basement, like in the laundry thing. And she doesn't tell me this, but there's uh, there's like two by fours that have been put up in the rafters that hang down <laughs> that have like electrical units like screwed into them. Oh, oh like, like plug Yeah. Yeah. And uh, mm. she doesn't tell me this, and they're about six feet high. Oh, nice! That's code right there. So I, yeah, so, you know, this this sounds completely dangerous, right? So yeah. I'm walking. I just get in. There's this bright light come on. <laughs> so you're kind of blinded because you come in from the dark, and uh -huh. I hit this son of a bitch. Oh, jeez! <laughs> right in this, just the top of my head, like I won't scalp myself with it. Yeah. Like, Wait, are you are you over six foot tall? Are you six foot tall? I'm six. Well, I mean, these things, I have to be, like, 5'11 or something off the ground. Or, like, oh, my God, did that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Were you wearing your hat? Because, I mean, that would help you. Oh, my, no, I didn't have no hat on. I just oh. literally felt scalped. I was like, oh, my God, did that hurt. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. I must this is the same place you. where I, I fell off the... I fell off the uh, the the shower uh, bench. Cool. You know? Yeah, <laughs> this is all the same place. I mean, yeah. I, I'm doomed to die here. I yeah. guarantee you. Uh, like, uh, probably, uh, probably a lot of people's fate is there. Yes. Oh, my son just told me he said his head twice on it. Yeah, it's easy to do, right? <laughs> well, yeah, he's taller than you, though, isn't he? No, I didn't walk into it. I was picking up something. Oh, oh, yeah. No, it's not meant for like tall people like us, right? It's made yeah. for like little like. Sure, well, you're not. Nurses. You're not short. I don't know. It's been a while. I'm not sure. Years, yeah, I'm. A, I'm, yeah, a, I'm as tall, tall as you, or taller, maybe. You're probably taller. Yeah, you yeah. definitely hit your head on it. You would definitely. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of someone short that we knew back in college that would. Uh, um, the dude who wore the green neon green hat. Oh, oh yeah, he'd be okay. Yeah, he'd be Who okay. Who's that guy's name? <laughs> O'Connor. O'Connor, yes, O'Connor. Michael sure. O'Connor or something like that. Oh, six of Bigora. He's got the green hat. Maybe like uh, Kelly Meese or something would be okay. Yeah, she was short, yeah. yeah. O'Connor, though, with his green, his neon green beach hat he wore in Stacey, Illinois. Uh, Stacy Stephanie Macaluso would be oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Stacy. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, but yeah, I did, man, I tell you what. <laughs> Wow. And her friend without any part of a hand, yes. And this place has, like, this little, like, homemade elevator. I don't know. It's very spooky. <laughs> don't hit your head on the outlet. That has the elevator plugged into it. And, like, you know, it says, you know, two-person capacity. Uh, not with you. <laughs> and I know, and I go, it said, like, 500-pound limit. Oh, the phone's ringing. Yeah. I go, oh, my goodness. I'm just gonna let that ring through. You're just gonna have to listen to that. Oh, this is the most irritating phone. I can't. Oh my God. I can't even reach it. You know what I mean? It's so Please take that back to Radio Shack immediately. <clears throat> I don't... Oh I don't my think, God! I'm gonna have a headache. It's a Target phone. I don't think it's a Radio Shack phone. Oh my God! Please. <clears throat> so anyway, keep going. It's almost done. It's a telemarketer. So, no, I. I uh, this place is just like, like a nightmare. <laughs> this this elevator is so spooky, though. Is it one of those wire ones? You have to pull the gate closed. Right, and, yeah. It's oh like a one-person elevator. Huh? It's like a one-person elevator. Is it, have, is it big enough for a, a wheelchair? Uh, just a big enough for yeah, it, yeah. yeah. But if you were, like, the person helping to push the person, you'd really, like, have yeah. your tuckiest thing up against the wall. There and yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's, just, it's very small. I don't like using it. I, I don't blame you. Those things are kind of creepy. Yeah. It's like a coffin elevator. I know. I was in it the other day, though. It smelled just like diarrhea in there. Like, oh. Uh, <laughs> that's just your I normal. That's just your normal. Once you get cooped up, you smell like that. You didn't know. I don't know. I just it smelled like just complete diarrhea in there. Like, <laughs> man, <it's> like, oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. You look around trying to blame the fart on somebody, but it's only you. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't get more than a couple people in this elevator, and they better be some skinny-ass people, too. Oh, my goodness. Me and you would definitely throw the thing out of water. Well, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Number one, I wouldn't get in the small space with you, but... uh, Yes. I'd take the stairs, thank you. Yeah, I I would. My knees hurt so bad climbing these stairs, but yet I'll, I'll tough it out. Oh, please. Over... My knees... My knees, man, from the Gulf War, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, I fell down during the Gulf War. I wasn't yeah, I was going to say, War, I, I I, knew you in the Gulf War. You didn't yeah. fight there or anything. No, I didn't fight. I just I got hurt, <laughs> hurt a lot. During yeah. The Maybe, uh, oh, hello? Yeah. Oh, somebody pushed a button or something. Maybe uh, you hurt your knees from, uh, you're pu- who's pushing yeah. buttons? I'm not pushing buttons. Somebody's pushing buttons. You're, you're pushing you're my that. buttons. <laughs> you're pushing my buttons with your stupid technology. Yeah, technology. Oh my god! You it's probably your cheap got ass candy phone. Now, your... I don't know. It's a target. I think it's a. I don't know what kind of phone that is. It's a ghost. Oh, no, anyway, I'm on Skype and somebody's pushing buttons, which is weird. It's Harold Ramis coming. It's to the Harold, day. exactly. He's like, um. Ghostbusters! It's like a Twinkie the size of Manhattan. Yeah. I ain't yeah. afraid of no ghost. Yeah. I was going to say, your knees probably hurt from, uh, you know, kissing so much ass in uh, 102. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Lauren, you're the best uh, teacher there ever was. Hair, have a mm-hmm. Schaefer light. Yeah. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> you keep those coming, and you'll pass along with all the good-looking girls. Yes. Yes. Ned Bob, he's not going to pass. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Unless he does my pet I try to do my pet project, Bob. Yeah. I took uh, Bob in a movie about recycling beer cans, and I helped. That's right. And supplying the beer cans. And supplying the beer cans. Yeah, yeah they did drink so much. Uh, you helped me with that, too. Thank you. I did, yeah, yeah, you didn't tell me the place was full of freaking bees. <laughs> I didn't know it. Back in college, this jackass was like, let's do a thing about recycling pop cans in the middle of summer. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I don't realize the whole place is full of freaking, like, African killer bees. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yeah, but you weren't the one who stuck his head and everything to get the shot, now, were you? No, no I had to work the freaking lights because the damn bees were attracted to the lights and they kept burning <laughs> themselves up. I know, that was great. <laughs> and then we had to explain why the lights are all jazzed up. Like, oh, man, we were just filming some weird stuff. Man. The bees would fly head first into the light and then just melt. <laughs> should have just said how to kill bees. That should have been your movie. That would have been more entertaining your stupid black and white recycling. Oh, it was a good movie. Oh, good. my God. Did that ever get finished? Yes, I finished. I, I got a grade. I finished. Oh, okay. I yeah. passed. Yeah, you passed. Yeah. I got a, a A or a B. I don't remember. I probably got an A, actually. A. I, I think I got mostly A's in all my major courses. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can go. Oh, I can go get my transcript. It's around here somewhere. I'll oh know. Christ! Dude. You'd like to hear my there. grades at college? I will go get that for you. I don't want to hear stupid grades. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, you're in a bad mood. You get woken up. Let me tell you, I called Miles tonight. You know, we have a. Uh... I just had a birthday. You know, and I'm yeah, old no, now. Come on. I'm, just, I'm on the. I live like half my life now. You Another know, worm in the sack. Come on. Yeah. So uh, I called Miles, you know, and I was just complaining about how my wife, we've been doing this for over 14 years, every week, talking to each other. Yeah. Recording something. And she, of course, is if, is if every week, you know, she's like, she's got a brain disorder. Every week, it's all new to her. I'm like, oh, I'm going to call Miles. What? <laughs> that fat son of a bitch. That's it. What? Yeah, I've been, I've been calling cord, him once Bob. a week. I've been calling him once a week for fourteen years. 
Oh, you just cut the cord, Bob. Just cut the cord with him, will you? Yeah. Ready? Uh, please. And so then I call you. You're sleeping. I wake you up apparently because you're taking your, you know, mid-evening nap before you go I'll to bed. I was watching this Carl Urban show and I fell asleep. Right? Yeah. And now you've been nothing but a big grouch. Uh. Well, you know, yeah. You know, I fell asleep. Oh my God. I just I fall you know, I fall but asleep. You know? I I think I'm like doing Groundhog Day here between you and my wife. What? What? Yeah, you're. I call you. What do you want? I'm calling you. We call once a week. Really? I forgot. I was in a deep sleep when you called me. I, was... I call you at the basketball game. What? What are you calling me here for? Oh, we do this thing every week. What? Well, that ran over a little bit. I wasn't in t See, that was the school board, though. They made my kids stay longer than I wanted uh, to. Oh, yeah. Okay. School board. They're like, oh, well, let's let the let's make these kids stay the whole freaking game instead of half the game like we've always done, you know. Oh, really? They did that. Hmm. Two games. So anyway, yeah. So it's oh, like between yeah. you and her, I feel like that I'm the one that is not living in reality. When in reality, you two guys are all screwed up. Oh my god. You know, I I've got uh, you know all this audio to fall back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, holy oh goodness. fuck, you people. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. That's why I call this episode. What? Again? Yeah. This week? Really? Oh, another show? Another one? I thought you guys did this already. Oh, we're going to talk about Canada tonight. Oh, you want to talk more about Canada? No, I no. I thought you were all like, I'm gonna talk about Canada for the next seven years. I got no. I guess still got a I still got a few. Are you done with yours? I was gonna let you. Yeah, go. I was done half an hour ago. Yeah. Holy cool. fuck! All right, here's a funny one for you. The uh, flight, at, you know, I had to I had to do, take several flights for whatever reason. You can't fly direct anywhere anymore, for fuck's sake. And uh, so you have to take all these bumps. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so uh, I get to hear the flight attendants do their whole spiel, uh, you know, a couple, four times. And this one guy was so nervous, he must have been new. I think they were forcing him to do the, the talk, you know, over the loudspeaker for the first time or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he's doing all the flight announcements, you know, in case of emergency and blah, 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 blah. And then he says, and, um, you know, once the once we're in the air... You can get up and move around the cabin. We just ask that you don't conjugate in the aisle or near the restroom. <laughs> he okay. said, conjugate. Conjugate. Yeah, he was supposed to say congregate. Congregate. Yeah, but he Not said conjugate. Con conjugate. I was thinking, like, conjugal right. visits in the aisle or near the restroom. Anyway. Yeah, conjugate. You know what you do with words or something? Conjugate? Yeah, you, know, you conjugate, conjugate a verb. A, or a verb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought that was very funny, and nobody else seemed to be paying attention to the guy. So, and yeah. I can see why now because you laughed so hard at that. So, <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> this is the lesser of the Canada stories. Last week was the better of the Canada stories. I think you shot your wad. I think with last week, yeah. yeah I, no, I, got, I think I got one more, uh, one more for you. Uh, so then another thing was. You know, we get on the flight, and uh, nowadays on the flights they let you, you know, have your iPad or whatever during takeoff and and landing, have everything out. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not what we mean by have everything out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, in front of me, on one of the legs of the flight, <laughs> this lady was watching some Harry Connick Jr. movie, and I was just like dumbfounded. I'm like, number one. <laughs> Who even watches a Harry Connick Jr. movie? You know, I think this is the kind of sick psycho that's going to bust out a window when she doesn't get peanuts or something. You know what I mean? You see, have you ever watched a Harry Connick Jr. movie where he starred in it? Uh, no. And she's no. got this iPad going with his Harry Connick Jr. She watched the whole fucking thing. I'm like, that. I'm scared of this woman. Who watches oh the Harry God. Connick Jr. movie? You should have whipped out your Shatner Twilight Zone. Oh, there's a man on the wing at That's the right. That's you should. <laughs> I sat close to the wing on almost every flight. Uh, everybody was teasing me that it was a weight issue. But, uh, yeah. 
plane is lifting to the left. That's right. Can we move that fat woman over there towards the base of the wing? So it's conjugating. Uh, it's conjugating, yes. She's conjugating over there by the bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking, yeah. I'm like, who who would watch a Harry Connick Jr., let alone, you know, flight, flying is torturous enough, yet you're submitting yourself to Harry Connick Jr. Oh, are you looking over her shoulder watching it? Too, I couldn't. There's, you get crammed in these planes, and I mean yeah. literally for myself. You yeah, know, my, my shoulders are wider than the seat. Right. I believe it. Yeah, you're wider than everything. That's right. <laughs> did you get charged for two seats? No, I did not. I just oozed out over my seat a little bit. You got to be bigger than uh, Kevin Smith, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm bigger than Kevin. Smith. I'm taller than I, Kevin Smith, so I might not be bigger because uh, yeah. I am big. I'm a big person, but I'm also taller. So you should have put in Monsters Ball. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to be good? You want to make me feel well, good? Well, she was like in front of me to the right, so I was up against the window, and she was just, you know, and so I couldn't help but see it the whole flight. So mm -hmm. I'm like, who the fuck would watch that? <laughs> so <laughs> I just had to think that this is, a, you know, psycho killer, qu'est-ce que say? Yeah, right. Her <laughs> kind uh, genius, the favorite. So the other thing was I, uh, you know, I got lucky in one leg of the flight. Uh, I flew into Denver and then I flew from Denver to Calgary. And at that point it was late, late in the evening. So it was like 10 o'clock or something. Yeah. And uh, they didn't have a full plane. And so they said, do you want, we got to move people around. Do you want a free upgrade? I'm like, sure. So I got to sit in what's called economy plus which is right behind first class, right? Yeah. Why are you laughing about now? Oh, I know they're my plus size. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> so I got to sit in the economy plus, and I left my coworker back in the uh, regular economy. He did not get the upgrade, so. Oh, 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 oh. But as being, this plane was a newer plane, and it had direct TV on the back of every seat. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And like a little credit card swipey if you wanted to pay for, you know, you could watch movies and whatnot. I was too cheap to do that. But in hindsight, once I, you know, once we got about halfway through the flight, I was really tempted because the 10 minute loop that they had on the direct TV was so annoying. And you couldn't take your eyes off because it's like uh, right there. Could you turn it off though? Or were you no, you could turn it off and just kept playing over and over oh, again. Oh, no. Oh my God! And then they the watching thing, like the like the like this, like this loop of like thirty seconds of each movie. Or yes, like, yes, it was just horrible. Do you like James Bond? What about? Yeah, I was. Good they, sucker. I, you had to plug in headphones to hear it, so I didn't have to listen to it, but I had to watch it. And I was tempted to like get my barf bag and put it up there, you know, so I wouldn't have yeah. to see it. But then I thought, you know, the stewardess would come over and like, you know, the TSA guy or air marshal would like take me out. You know, Liam Neeson <laughs> would be like. You know, I've got a particular set of skills, and your fat ass is going to see every one of them. <laughs> I was so worried. I don't know. Sean Connery is working the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I may be old bastard, but uh, <laughs> I'm not He'd be not funny in there, Marshall. Yeah, I thought I'd get the takedown or something. Oh, jeez. Because everybody was so tense. This, I, did I tell you I got detained, uh, almost detained by the TSA in Chicago? What? I didn't tell you this? Wait, is this where you cut your finger? Or was this no, no, this is after shoes? that. So, well, anyway, let me, finish, let me finish this other funny thing. So, yeah. you know, I told you about the Diet Coke thing last week where the lady's like, you went dying. Oh, that was great, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I have one more step above the humiliation of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I get bumped up to uh, the Economy Plus. Oh, there beep again. I get bumped up to Economy Plus uh, size or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So far, every seatbelt has fit me without issue. Yeah. And this seatbelt that I happen to be, I got put in, you know, upgraded to, it would not latch. It, I was straining. <laughs> To get it, you know, the metal would go inside the metal, but it would not latch. It puts the seatbelt on or it gets the hose. And I was, like, unwinding it. I was doing everything. I could not get this fucking seatbelt to latch. And 
the stewardess comes by and I kind of flag her with my finger and she goes, extension. <laughs> seatbelt extension. She goes, she, I'm trying to flag her down and I'm pointing down my seatbelt and she goes, extension, seatbelt extension. Were you pointing at your... Uh... I was pointing at the side, not at my junk. Oh, you'd be like, she's like, oh, extension. Huh? Yeah, like, no. Yeah, that's right. So I had right. to get a seatbelt extension. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Rob, you got anything for junior samples back there? That's you know? right. <laughs> so that was more humiliating than the Diet Coke. Uh, uh, seat extension. <laughs> Luckily, it was a pretty sparse flight, so nobody really noticed. There you go, Rolly Poly. Yeah, but I mean, literally... Everything else fit fine, every flight I took, except for this one. And it, like, would go in there, but it would not latch. Are you, uh, Louie Anderson, by chance? <laughs> That's right. Oh, excuse yeah. me. It's doing this. So, yeah, so then that I got my extension, and I was all fine and everything. And uh, so on the way back, I flew from uh, Calgary to Chicago, right? <laughs> Cannon needs an extension. <laughs> That's right, he needs an extension. And so when I get to Chicago, I'm at O'Hare, right, yeah. of course, yeah. and uh, we land in Concourse uh, B, and then we have to get all the way over to Concourse C, and the plane's late, and we're supposed to have an hour, and now we've only got, you know, 45 minutes. Yeah. So we, you know, as fast as I possibly could take my extended ass over there, I went over to uh, Concourse uh, B. And got uh, situated, and then I start to, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to get on the plane. I'm like the last group to board, uh, for some reason on my boarding pass, and I get to get on the plane. And this real, this lady is so like grouchy already, you know, she's boarding everybody. Yeah. And then I give her my boarding pass, and she goes, "Oh, uh, you got to go stand over there." <laughs> <laughs> With those people. So I go stand over there, and this other lady comes up to me, and she goes, she goes, oh, okay, I see what the deal is. She goes, hold on a minute, I gotta find that TSA number, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm the last to board. Everybody else is filing onto the plane, right? Oh, you're gonna get some nasty looks, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, sorry. So I'm like, you know, the lady's like flumming through all these papers trying to find the TSA number. Uh -huh. And she's like, um, where'd you come from? I'm like, I came from Calgary. She's like, where are you going? You know, I'm like, I'm going on to, uh, actually, I was going to Atlanta, of all places, but I went to Atlanta. Right. And uh, she goes, hmm, hmm, you know. And then she finally finds this number and calls the TSA. So I'm listening to her conversation with the TSA. She's like, yeah, he's standing here. He's got four S's on his boarding pass, and uh, it's not circled. What do you want me to do with him? What? <laughs> I know, I know. So if you ever have four S's on your boarding pass, that's trouble, apparently. He has a gold star on his uh <laughs> That's right, he's got a gold jacket. star on his jacket. Is he allowed to fly? Is he allowed to? And I've already flown. I've, I've gone through customs. I've gone through security. I'm in yeah. the airport in the secure area. Yeah. And so she's like, are you going to come down and get him? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. What is the board identity? What the hell yeah, is this? The, board, the plane is boarding. All the people are almost on the plane. Are you Jason Bourne or something? <laughs> what? I'm like, and so then she's, and, then, you know, and I go. Well, here's my boarding pass from Calgary to get here. Yeah. And she's like, oh, his boarding pass from Calgary circled. Right? So what was supposed to happen in Calgary was they were supposed to circle both of my boarding passes. They only did one. Well, give me a freaking marker. I'll I know. Goddamn thing. Jesus. So finally they have some more conversation. If I wouldn't have saved that darn thing, I would have, like, not gone on that flight. And I would have been, I would have been, uh, you know, taken in by the TSA and probably got cavity searched or something. Let's take off your clothes, sir. So that, yeah. Uh -huh. well, if you really? I mean, come on. So they, they, the TSA guy finally tells her, oh, yeah, that's fine. You know, just let him go. Yeah. So then <laughs> I get, 
I get away from her, and I turn around. There's the grumpy lady again, and the lady, the other lady, says, "Yeah, he's fine to go." And she goes, "Oh, hey, wait a minute. Do you mind sitting in the, you know, the exit row?" <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you know, with the door where you pull the handle to open the door. Oh, right. So it crashes like you've got to yeah. open it. And, and I go, yeah, I don't care. And so then she grabs my boarding pass and grabs this boarding pass of this little tiny Asian woman who doesn't speak English, gives her my boarding pass, gives me her boarding pass. Oh, my God. And sends us on the plane. And I go, uh, that's got my name on it. And like two seconds ago, this was a big fucking deal. <laughs> and now, uh, yeah. And now you just gave my ticket to my boarding pass to this little Asian lady named Mrs. Wang. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh. In front of part two. It's for no kids. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. You're on the plane. And she, she, forced, she just kind of waves me down the gangplank. So I'm like one of the last people on the plane with Mrs. Wang. And I flew from Chicago to Atlanta without incident. But I'm like, what? what kind of world is this? Look, it's John and Yoko. Yeah, that's <laughs> Fat John. Yes, Fat John and Yoko. Fat John, he lives. Peace and love, peace and love. So, yeah, I couldn't believe. I'm, I go from one second where the TSA agent's going to have to come, you know, take me away. And the next second, I'm in the I'm in the exit row where, where the uh, handle, handle for the, you know, door is. Yeah, like you're a questionable terrorist at first. And like, yes. You know, you're like... I just wanted to tell everybody, this is what's going on in the air. How does, how does that happen? How does that happen? Oh, my God. And then I sat next to Kim Kardashian, so that was the whole other thing. Mm -hmm. No, I sat next to this woman who like looked like Kim Kardashian, you know? Oh, this is getting good. No, there was nothing good. Basically, what happened was I sat down, and uh, she had, like, you know, she looked like Kim Kardashian. And except she was in an economy like me, you know, so she wasn't mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian and she would not give me the armrest. She fought that armrest. She kept sticking her elbow in my side. And then she would kick me with her leg because she like had her legs crossed. Yeah. Right in the shin with the, with the heel of her boot with her Ooh. Ugg. Ooh. Yeah. So that happened for a while. We were on the on the uh, ground, and then as soon as we started flying, she pulled out some pills and then passed out. <laughs> Seriously, she had. Please, please let one be a roofie. Please let one be. I mean, she was out. She literally opens up a little compartment in this like pillow she had. Yeah. Pulled out these two pills, downed them. Yeah. And then put the pillow on her head and the like was asleep against the window for the rest of the flight. It I gotta say, she didn't rest her head on your lap at any point. No, no, year. she all leaned over, and, and I was glad because then she stopped kicking me and poking me. So, oh. yeah. Well, yeah, did I don't she, like any of that. Did she realize she was kicking and poking you, or? I don't think she really gave a shit, to be honest with you. She probably was like, "Thank God I have this big seat to myself," and she's like, "Oh Christ!" No. Yeah, I thought I got rid of that Mrs. Wang. Here comes Junior Samples. That's <laughs> right. Oh jeez. I gotta, I gotta fly with you know. Yeah. I hope he showered. God, I hope he showered. Ooh. I don't think I stunk at that point, but uh, yeah. I was a little scared with the TSA thing. Now, my uh, traveling, I traveled with somebody, and uh, he had already gotten on the plane and gotten seated and everything, and, and there's no way to contact him at that point. I'm like, if I pull my phone out and tell him I'm getting hassled, they're going to, like, take me down. You know what I mean? Put down the phone. That's right. I felt like, uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger going to Mars there for a second. Get ready for a surprise. Get ready for a surprise. Yeah, so. Yeah, that was the that was the big wrap-up, To Besides that, then we got to Atlanta, and then it had freezing rain and everything, you know. Yeah. And uh, it had subsided and started melting, but yeah. there was all these little frozen spots on the pavement. Oh, my you know, God. When you were walking yeah. out to get to places. And this, I, I didn't fall, thank goodness. I, I followed behind my uh, coworker, and he just about fell a couple times. And then I avoided wherever he was walking. But I saw this other dude who, like, just took off. You know, he's like, i got to get going, you know. <laughs> dude, right on his ass, in a water puddle of all things. Oh, no. Just, like, from his ankles to his neck, covered with water. 
Oh, God. Yeah, I tried not to laugh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> in Atlanta, of all places. <laughs> Atlanta, yeah. It was freezing rain in Atlanta. That's weird. It was weird. It was a freaky, freaky deal, so... Anyway, that's all my Calgary, Calgary travel stories. Nothing really happened in Calgary, but... Uh, oh, you blew your wad now? Uh, I've got others, but they're not that good. So those are yeah. the ones that make you laugh. That's all I do. Yeah. That's all I got. No, that's good. I like that. Yeah, that is weird. That you get all held up, and then all of a sudden... Now we're going to give you the most important job on the plane. Yeah, the, the funny thing was we were on this thing called... Uh, oh, shit, what was it? It was United, but it was... Uh, not United, so it was like some airline that like goes with United, like Alamo or something, Western yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And the little thing, the little cover that covers the handle. Yeah. As I'm sitting there looking out the window there, and then looking at the door, the little handle just flops down because it's like held on with a piece of tape. <laughs> so the handle was sticking out. <laughs> Oh, this makes you feel real good. Oh, I know. Yeah. Then we had to get de-iced as well because it was snowing in Chicago on that day. So uh, that was that was interesting. I liked watching that. But nice for flying. Really, the only parts that are worrisome are the takeoff and the landing. Once you're in the air, who cares? You know. Yeah. I mean, you're either gonna live or die. It's like fifty-fifty at that point. So. You know. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, no, sorry, I'm hit sure. your head. Uh, I'm all right, you know. It's fine. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I was really sleepy after I did that. Oh. <laughs> Concussion. Concussion.